What does it taste like? Oh my, gosh, have that oh my god, you really ate half of it. Mm -hmm. I taste it. Okay, guys, I'm tasting it. You gotta see that. Will you see that goodness? Holy crap! That's seriously one of the most amazing things I've ever tasted. It is a goat's milk caramel. Salty caramel. A goat's it milk. It's definitely seriously salty. You know you love it because it's salty. A goat's milk salty caramel. From the cellar in San Clemente. From the cellar in San Clemente. And it tastes so good. We just picked up. Hold on, I gotta flip you around. Ooh. We just picked up a five cheese plate, five selection cheese plate. And now we're heading to Ralph's. Right, <laughs> to get some bread. <laughs> and then we're gonna go home and enjoy our cheese plates. Um, and Fringe, because we just barely started watching Fringe, so we're like on like the third disc, I think. So we're excited, best date night ever. So Brian and I are continuing our date night at home. And we thought it would be a great idea to make our own cheese plate at home. Oh, yeah. Which is something I kind of do. I usually make like a snack plate with whatever cheese and crackers and olives we've got at the house. But we thought we'd step it up a notch and go to the cellar in San Clemente. But the, you know, the, the prices of the cheese are obviously really expensive because they're artisan cheeses. So the blue cheese that we were going to get was so expensive we thought we might as well just get one of their already made cheese plates that they put together for you with all the accoutrements. I always say accompaniments, but I believe the proper word is accoutrements. I'm trying to open it. Ooh, it got a little knocked around. See, gosh dang it. Hold on. Where are you supposed to be? I think you're supposed to be right here. Yeah, okay. So we drove it home, so it got a little knocked around. But it's a five cheese plate, which I'm about to... Actually, no. You know what? I, I was thinking I would transfer it onto this plate. But I'm not. On this plate, on this plate here, I'm going to put some salami, which we just got at Ralph's. It's boar's head. And then we picked up this fig spread because a lot of the cheese plates that we like in restaurants have like that fig jam. And then I'm going to cut this rosemary loaf and make a dipping, make a dip for it using the virgin olive oil and the balsamic with some crushed pepper. So, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Are you ready to eat, babe? Mm -hmm. I need a salami before we start. Don't need a bowl of salami before we start. Well, and while I'm preparing our snack no, slash dinner, <laughs> smacking on the camera, eating salami. My husband's gonna feed my poodle, who's really upset. Cause it's past his dinner time. Yeah. It's past his dinner time, guys. Hurry the hell up, Dad. And we're sorry it's past dinner time. Okay, we're gonna enjoy our cheese plate. So the plan is. Uh huh. To keep snacking on stuff. Oh, sorry, poodle. Can I get the water? Go on. Is it keeps snacking on stuff and you know, just chill? Yeah. Um, so you just gotta you know, since we're chilling with friends and everything, so you just gotta close your eyes during the beginning parts. Oh, we're gonna snack while we I mean while we watch fringe? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I wanted to I thought you'd like to see mm -hmm. it. <laughs> I thought you'd like to see it finished. So I've got the rosemary bread that I purchased, the jam. This is the bread that came with the cheese plate. And then I've got salami. And that's what it looks like. And we're about to grab a watch fringe. I have this thing about watching gross stuff while I eat. And on fringe, there's always some nasty stuff happening at the beginning. So I kind of want to watch something else while we're eating <laughs> until I'm done eating and then watch fringe. But we'll see.